hybridization may differ with the state of compound also whether it's a covalent compound or it's an ionic compound whether are we talking about a gaseous state of the compound or if we are talking about the solid state of the compound all right so generally generally i'm saying right of course can have exceptions but generally when i'm saying ionic compound we may understand without a doubt that okay we are talking about solid state and when we are saying covalent compounds we can have gaseous also liquid also and solids also all right so the questions like these become tricky and hence you need to be very careful when these kind of things comes what is the hybridization of pcl5 in solid state or what is the hybridization of pcl5 in ionic state all right so if the question like these are asked where they are mentioning the state then you have to be careful and the data that i am going to give you is going to be sufficient in helping you sail through these kind of questions so be careful pcl5 normally nothing mentioned then we know is tbp trigonal bipyramidal geometry you know that side atoms are five central atom is phosphorus you know every story about tbp now xcl equatorial breaks into pcl3 plus cl2 the cl2 is coming from xcl this kind of story is something that you know already but what about ionic state so in ionic state all that you need to know is that pcl5 exist as pcl4 plus plus pcl6 minus the examiner will never give you the data like this that it is existing as pcl4 plus plus pcl6 minus so it's existing like a cation or an anion ionic compound right you can see there is a positively charged species and a negatively charged species all made up from the pcl5 in fact two molecules of pcl5 can you know jumble bumble together to give you pcl4 plus p2cl10 if i just write you can see that from here one phosphorus comes here one phosphorus comes here four chlorine comes here how many left six chlorine six chlorine comes here so it becomes pcl4 plus and pcl6 minus now you know the steric number formula very well so you simply apply this 5 plus we have four side atoms which are monovalent plus 4 minus 1 by 2 5 6 7 8 9 minus 1 by 2 is of course 4 so it is tetrahedral so pcl4 plus exists like tetrahedral and pcl6 minus that means 5 plus 6 plus 1 by 2 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 12 by 2 that means sp3d2 that means it is existing like octahedral do not forget to mention the charges that it holds so plus here and a minus here don't forget pcl5 pcl5 clear it exists in ionic state as pcl4 plus and pcl6 minus what all other molecules you need to remember see other phosphorus pentahalides you must remember the first one is pf5 when i'm talking about pf5 it exists as a gaseous molecule or a, as a gaseous compound and pf5 the normal way you do it phosphorus which is 5 plus 5 by 2 hence steric number is coming out to be 5 tbp trigonal bipyramidal geometry trigonal bipyramidal shape whereas ionic solid does not exist or ionic compound does not exist for pf5 right pf5 is sorted what about pcl5 we have just done it exist as covalent as well as ionic so if nothing mentioned we write tbp but specifically if it is mentioned that we are talking about ionic state write down properly okay third one pbr5 pbr5 exist as pbr5 similar to pcl5 tbp in covalent state in ionic 
it exists as PBr4 plus and Br minus. You can see a positively charged species and a negatively charged species and you know the answer, right? So PBr4 plus, how can you write it? 5 plus 4 minus 1 by 2, of course, comes out to be 4. Sp3, that means tetrahedral geometry. Now the next one, Pi5 does not exist as a covalent molecule. It only exists as ionic species like Pi4 plus I minus, similar to PBr5. The way it exists is, is PR, PBr4 plus and Br minus. Similar here, sp3 hybridization geometry is tetrahedral. So P F5, P C L5, P B R5, P I5 cases should be on your fingertips. Next one that should that you must remember is this one Cl2O6. So look at this Cl2O6. The covalent form, it exists as Cl2O6 only. So you know chlorine in the valence shell has seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Similarly, the other chlorine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there is sharing of electron between the two chlorines and the other, the pi bonds, three pi bonds are formed with the three oxygens. Similarly, three pi bonds are formed here and three sigma bonds. You can very well see that oxygen is also satisfied, chlorine is also satisfied. We do not take into account the pi bond. We very much take into account the sigma bond. The moment you see it, you know that chlorine, we do not take pi into account for hybridization. So, if you take 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma and 4 sigma, of course, this is sp3. Similarly, this is also sp3, right? But when we talk about the ionic state, it exists as ClO2 plus. That means 7 minus 1 by 2. 7 minus 1 is 6 by 2, that is 3. sp2 hybridized. ClO4 minus again is 7 plus 1 by 2. That means 8 by 2 is 4. That means sp3 hybridized. So how does it exist? sp2 hybridized and sp3 hybridized. ClO2 minus, ClO2 plus positively charged species and ClO4 minus negatively charged species. All right. 